Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Marybeth, and I'm going to be your art teacher today. We're going to have an exciting adventure. Give me one moment. Today is insect art. We are going to be learning all about insects. What kinds of insects do you see here? Oh, there's so many. Ladybugs, butterflies, bumblebees, beetles. Oh, it's exciting. People have been making art about insects for a long time. This piece was created by Flemish artist Jan van Kessel. It is over 300 years old. What insects do you see here? What are they eating? This painting was created by A.C. Smith. He's an African-American artist. This painting is called Flight of the Butterfly. Wouldn't it be amazing to have wings like a butterfly? This is a portrait. Do you remember what a portrait is from our previous lesson? Hmm. Well, a portrait is when you draw or paint or sculpt a picture of a friend. These insects were created by Mexican artist Concepcion Aguilar. They were made out of clay and then hand painted. You can see her here creating a piece in her art studio. Wow, look at all those bugs and insects. And it looks like she's making something big over here. I wonder what she's creating. Here is a close-up of one of her insects. She is using repetition to make her insect beautiful. Repetition is when we make a shape over and over again. So if you look at this insect's head, you'll see white spot, 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 white spot. That is repetition. She's using repetition down here too. Purple spot, purple spot, purple spot, purple spot, purple spot. Orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot. She's using repetition all over this insect. This insect was created by Japanese Canadian artist Raku Inuo. He creates sculptures out of plants and flowers. Wow, look at that bug made out of flowers. Oh, it's beautiful. Those look like dandelions. This insect uses repetition too. What does he repeat over and over? If you guessed purple flower petals, you're right. Purple flower petal, 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 purple flower petal. He is using a lot of repetition. What does he repeat here? If you guessed yellow and red flower petals, you're right. Yellow red flower petal, yellow red flower petal, yellow red flower petal, yellow red flower petal, yellow red flower petal. And look, he used leaves and stems to make the body. Do you think you can make an insect out of plants? You might have to try later today. Kids make insect art too. Look at these amazing pieces. Students in Miss Barbro's first grade class created these flying insects. Do you know what they are called? 
If you guessed a dragonfly, you're right. He's got one, two, three, four dragonflies and one ladybug. Look at these amazing bugs. It's time for us to create our own insects. When you look at these, you can see lots of them were inspired using repetition too. Look at this, circle, 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 circle. Oh my goodness, they use circles mostly in theirs. Let's see what we can make. All right, you're going to need a piece of white paper and a pencil. That's all we need today. It's going to be easy. So a piece of paper and any kind of a pencil, okay? I'm going to use a marker just so it's a little easier for you to see, but a pencil will probably be the easiest for you. But if it's all you have is a pen, then use that. And any kind of paper will do. All right, when we go to create our insect, let's make our eyes first. So we are going to make one circle with a circle around it. And we're going to go right next door and we are going to make another circle and leave a little space between them and a circle around it. And that will give us our eyes. They're looking at us. Now we're going to make our head. We're going to make a rainbow shape and connect our two circles together. And then we're going to make a big smile underneath and that will give us our insect's head. Well, that was easy. And insects often have antennas. So let's make some antennas. These are just upside down U's, and you can make them long or short, any size you want. Now from here, let's make one curved line on that side of the head and one curved line on that side. That's easy. And let's make a smile between them. Now we're ready for our big body. So we're going to come here and we're going to make a great big circle shape. Very, very easy. And let's add in a couple of side stripes. One on each side just to make it more interesting. What a cute bug. Now our bug needs some legs. So we're gonna come up here and we're actually gonna do it in segments. So we're gonna make one rectangle shape. And then on top of that, we're gonna make another rectangle shape. And then we'll make one more. And that gives us one leg. And let's go to the other side and do the same thing. We're gonna make one rectangle shape. Make two rectangle shapes. And let's add in our third rectangle shape. Now we have our front legs. Let's make our middle legs. We're gonna take, and this time I'm gonna curve this one back a little bit. And I just made kind of a little loop, sideways U. And then I'm going to add in one more. And one more. And if yours are going straight out or down or up, it doesn't matter. This is just how I decided to do mine. And I'm going to add some over here too. I'm going to make one U shape. I'm going to make another one. And one more. 
Now I've got four legs, but I need six for this creature. So I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna make another set. I'm gonna make one rectangle shape. Another rectangle shape. And another rectangle shape. And let's come over here. I'm gonna make one rectangle shape. Another rectangle shape and another one. Now I've got my basic insect creature. Now today we're going to use repetition to make our creature more interesting. So I want you to choose a shape, maybe a circle, a square, a rectangle, a star, a heart, anything that you know how to draw. And let's first just do it in these side parts. So I'm actually going to use circles for mine. Circle, 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 circle. And when you repeat something over and over again, it is called repetition. Try saying repetition, repetition. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You decide what shape you want and go ahead and fill it in. And I think it might be fun to have some diamond shapes in my bug. So I'm gonna come up to the neck and I'm gonna make a great big upside down V. And you might choose a different shape and that is okay. And I'm gonna make a bottom V and that gives me a diamond. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm going to make an upside down V And then I'm gonna make a V right side up. Look at that, I've got diamonds. If I wanted to put a shape in the middle, I could. You know, I think I'm going to turn mine into a love bug. To make a love bug, I'm gonna add a heart. So that the easy way to make a heart is to first make the letter V. Okay, so I made a V inside of my Vs. Then you take and you put a dot in the middle between your Vs. And then you make the letter M. Oh, and I've got a heart. Let me show you how to do that again. So I make the letter V. I put a dot right in the middle. And then I make the letter M. And that'll give me a heart. How easy is that? And if I wanted to keep adding different shapes along on the sides, I could. Maybe I want to do more circles, triangles, squares, anything that you want to do. I think I'm gonna add a few more circles. I'm gonna make some big and some small. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna make some more shapes. I've used a lot of circles. That is repetition. I could even take and maybe put Circles here too, repetition, circle, circle, circle. I could maybe put stripes on my antennas. I can do whatever I want. It's already looking very decorated. Now let's give our bug a place to live. Let's come to this side and we're gonna draw some tall grasses. So watch me go. I'm just gonna make big V's and I'm gonna kind of curve them. Come down low, come up high. Now my bug is in the grass. And I think I want a little bit of sunshine too. So I'm gonna add a sun up in my corner. And there's all kinds of ways to make sun rays, but I think I'm going to use rectangles and I am going to repeat them, repetition. Rectangle, 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 rectangle. I am ready to color my bug in now if I want, or I can just leave it just like it is, okay? If you have colors though and you wanna use some crayons, you could use crayons, you could use paint, markers, 
whatever you have. Here's one that I made earlier and I just colored it in with regular crayons. Okay, so it is up to you what you decide to do. You could leave it just as a drawing or maybe you want to take color into it. You choose. Hang on one second. All right, boys and girls. Well, it was really fun drawing with you today. And I will see you in our next art lesson. Have a great time drawing. Hey, and don't forget to go outside and see if you can make some insects out of plants too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.